It's happened again, ladies and gents. I've scored the premium. Second time on Knock Air, they've uh, given me the responsibility of saving the aircraft in case of an emergency. I'm up for the challenge. I've worked out why they've put me here, right next to the exit. You wanna know why? Because I'm the most important person on this plane. Hey YouTube, Dead Farang here again. Another day in another country. I'm going back to Bangkok at the minute. Uh, Don Mawang Airport, I'm paying 1200 baht from Pattaya. Yeah, yeah. And my 30 days is up, so I've got to get out of the country. Again, feels like only yesterday I was off to uh, Siem Reap. I've been back another 30 days. Uh, time to head off again. It'd be good if Thailand made it easier for under 50s to stay in the country long term. I can stay up to 90 days. I could have extended here for another 30, but I figured, hey, I'll get out of the country, go see something new. So by forcing me to leave the country, the only one that loses is the people of Thailand and the Thailand economy. Now I'm taking the money that I'd spend in Thailand for the next month, I'm gonna go spend it in, in another country. Just filling up on the juice. Why is it they never fill up before they pick you up? It's always after they pick you up, you have to stop so they can fill up. Gold sub. Mm. Gold sub mariner. Is that a designated truck lane? So the taxi driver just told me trucks can only stay in the left two lanes. That's why you don't see them in the right congested traffic. Good idea. If you're in a taxi and you think the driver's going too fast and you want to tell him to slow down, just say to him, cha cha may leave. Is that me or you? That's me. Gotta go. I just got off the phone and I'm going to say two words that are very important for anyone coming to Thailand. Short time. I'm on my own for this trip. One of the disadvantages of travelling alone is you've got to uh, front the transport cost yourself. I try and avoid buses as much as I can these days as a lot of you may know. And I do prefer the private taxis or a taxi. costed me $48 whereas if I had a traveling partner I'd go halves and it'd only be $24. I've arrived at Don Mawang now. It took two and a half hours. That's not too bad. Today's a Saturday. Today I'm flying Knock Air. It's a budget Thai airline. I've flown with them twice before and I'm very happy with their service. So I'm using them again. Just going into Mr. Cup Tea, trying to order a coffee, they've got no milk. How can you sell coffee if you've got no milk? Coffee club it is. Definitely not the cheapest coffee in Thailand. I'm going to get a Warwick Cappuccino. Just coughed up about 190 for these two bottles of insect repellent. Might be going deep into the jungle, so I think I might need this. So where do you think I'm going, DFs? Where am I going? Gate 46, that's me. There's the DF mobile. happened again ladies and gents I've scored the premium second time on knock air they've uh, 
given me the responsibility of saving the aircraft in case of an emergency. I'm up for the challenge. I've only seen one other white fella on this plane. So maybe they think the Farang, he can save it. DF to the rescue. Scored the extra leg room for free. You beauty. I've worked out why they've put me here, right next to the exit. You wanna know why? Because I'm the most important person on this plane. Okay, they've crammed me into this thing. Luckily, I've scored the front seat. Where are we going next? That is the question. Good thing about sitting up the front, if he starts driving like a nutter, he's only within arm's reach. Look at all the Thai flags on the poles. One of the most patriotic countries in the world, the Thais. They love it. Dumped me here in Nong Kai. I assume I've got to head this way. I'm just following the pack. And then from here, make my way to the border. Departure terminal. Once you get through passport control at Nong Kai, and that's 20 baht for a bus take you to the border. I thought that was all included in the f***ing knock air ticket. What's going on? Probably going to sting me once I get to Vientiane as well. Packed in like sardines. This is the bus about 15, 20 of us were jam packed into. Old dunger. Okay, I've arrived at the border. There's immigration. I've got to go get some paperwork to fill out. Haven't done that yet. You can print it off online. I didn't do it. I don't have a printer. Didn't have time. I've cleared immigration and customs now. Now I'm just waiting for the knock air bus. But I got told off for recording back there. And he actually made me delete me footage, the prick. So I had about three clips that I had to delete. From here to the city should be about 40 minutes, I believe. And then from there, I've got to make me way to my hotel. It's hot. Sun's out, it is hot. Final ride into Vientiane. Can I sit at the front? Hey, mate, yeah? Riding shotgun, mother Oh, wrong side. Welcome to Lao. Let's check out some street scenes. Well, we've gone back a few years in time, I think. Knock okay, here, dropping me off at the hotel. Thank you. This is it. Lao Silk Hotel. This is the street my hotel's on. We've got a sign over there that says Real Pizza. I think there's a massage joint down there. Due for one of them. And the hotel's called New Lao Silk. 
I booked online deadfarang.com three nights and it cost me about 1600 baht so about 550 baht per night let's go check it out nice little foyer no staff no elevator at the new Lao Silk Hotel and I'm on level 5 should be fun. Made it to the top. This is the room. A few coat hangers there. Some drawers. Little desk. Mirror. Little Samsung TV. A couple of glasses. Mini fridge. What's inside? No oh, air. Yeah. A few drinks. Coke. Water. The aircon there. What have we got? Yeah, the sheets look okay. Clean towels, two soaps, two shampoos. Another mirror behind the bed. Let's have a look at the view. It's the view. There's the main road that I walked in. That's the view out that window. Anyways, I'm knackered. I need a massage. Quick shower. I'm going out for a massage. Oh yeah, we didn't look in here. This is clean. Not bad for 550 baht. The only downfall is it's on level five. So for McDonald's, Triple M Rocks footy, it's a five point lead for Melbourne as we prepare for this. So I've been listening to the first half of the footy, but I'm going out, I'm hungry. I don't care what I eat, I'm just grabbing anything. Then I'm going to get a massage and see what else is available. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm on the render. I've got a vid, I'm making a vid. I don't know if you like it, but I'm making it anyway. Bangkok to Udon Thani. 55 minute bid, full flight. Got an ANZ ATM over there. First impressions, well, a little bit like CM Reap. It's clean, looks like it has some modern places. I don't know, I have to explore, I've only just got here. Leave it with me and I'll get back to you. This place looks popular. Go suss out what they got. to eat at this place. It's called Uncle Dang Kitchen. I like the logo. I like your logo. Is that you? Is that you, Uncle Dang? You want to be on camera? Yeah. Say hello to the subs. This is Uncle Dang. Good food, yeah? I ordered this. Noodle soup with chicken, egg noodles. We'll see how we go. I might get some spring rolls if they don't fill me up. Uncle Dang Kitchen. Yeah. Noodles have arrived. Got me condiments here chili powder, sugar, chili. I think that's fish, that's soy. I got vinegar there, pepper, salt. So basically, I'll just have a taste and season. As desired. Not bad. I'll add a few things, I'll be back. Added some chili, bit of sugar, 
bit of fish and a bit of soy sauce. Very good. Oh, I'm done. 20,000 kip, about $3 Australian. I'll do the conversions at the top of the screen there. On the DF food scale, it gets a whopping 7.5. So I've spotted this joint here and I've seen something inside that might take my fancy. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I don't mind having a toke on the shisha pipe every now and then. And I saw one of them, so I'm gonna go and inquire. I ordered a double apple. He normally charges $150, but I wasn't going to accept that price, and I got him down to $12 US. It's expensive, but hey, it's been a long day. I need to relax. I'm not going out for beers tonight. I'm going to have this and then get a massage. That's it. Home to sleep. River's down there, Riverside. Lots of nice cars, I've noticed that. No shortage of uh, currency. Actually very impressed, to be honest. Let's see if the mighty demons got up. Matches. Come on. Oh, three points. That's me, 99. 30 minute mark. Come on. Got to refresh this, hang on. You little beauty. Go the f***ing demons. <laughs> Kicking back in Vienti yard and the D's get up. I don't give a f who looks at me. It's true for the red and the blue. Sheesh has arrived, not too happy. He's got the shit and instant burning coal. Only one. Shit little pipe with a plastic hose. Anyway, beggars can't be choosers. So I won't be having too many of these, that's for sure. I can't even get any smoke, this is f***ing bullshit. And I'm going to have to get the back here. Don't think this bloke's got a clue. I told him I need two coals. So he's taken that one, he's gone to get me two. Mate. I had to tell him, I'm not paying for that shit. So I walked out of there. He was cool. He said, don't worry about it. Hey boys, I want to smoke some shisha. Shisha, shisha. Proper shisha, not same here. This one, shit, not good. You, have, you know another one? Good one, proper one. Yes or no? Yeah? No, 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 shisha. Shit, nah, shit. Not good. Alright, I'll go back see my other mate, he knows. Thank you. Here we go. Throw the darts. Here's the Mekong River over here. Still warm, there's a beautiful breeze coming through. Oh, sensational. Chicken back on the Mekong in Vientian, Lao. Thought I'd come and have a look at the market. A hive of activity. People everywhere. Just been walking the streets, pulled into the local, uh, what do they call it, Jiffy. Got myself a bottle of water for 3,000 kip. It's less than one Australian dollar. I've given up on the shisha. 
no one can help me. The first bloke, he was a dud. It's getting late, I'm going for a massage. Going home to bed. Start the day fresh. Dale massage and body scrub. Might go in there. Okay. Massage it is. I don't know what I'm going to get. That's the menu. Yeah, I get massage. So in the end, I chose a foot massage. It was a tough decision, but I didn't want oil all over my body. That's why I went with the foot. And that's what it is. 65,000 kip. Thank you. Thank you. My street's just up here on the left. I'll show you some of the restaurants and hotels that are on my street. Cafe Sanook. Sticky Fingers restaurant and bar. Best Western Hotel. It's very nice through the window there. Thomas and Kitchen, that's packed. I'll stand back here. It's not packed, but it's busy. Fuji restaurant. Bakery pastry, I'll try that tomorrow. And there's my place here. That's it, go to bed, catch us later.